Hi guys, it's Bando here, and, and that's my friend. And we're gonna be doing the FPV system. Woohoo! So I got my Trump antennas from TBS, Team Black Sheep, and designed by Ivy Crazy. And the TX5G Pro, which is yeah. super small. It's really tiny. Super so compact. You want to use these cables, the all-in-one cable that comes in like that. I'll show you guys later. Using the JST. And then we're also we also have our camera, the C, the CM six six hundred fifty TV line camera, and I already put it in the carbon fiber slots. But what you want to do is attach it into these slots if it can even fit and tighten the screws making sure tighten the screws making sure it's like it can stay in that position nicely nice and secure and then we have our top plate here so you, you can go go ahead and like try to connect the top plate as well so can go and like all right, so I put it in there. It takes a bit of energy to do that. Energy it takes a little bit of cellular respiration. <laughs> and then you have your coarse screws that you can go ahead and fit in there. But before we do that, we need to get our video transmitter in here. And as RC and Model Reviews calls it, the whip or the ducky. You can just throw that out. Yeah. I'll go get that later. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> it basically attaches in like so. So I think we can use, you can either use double sided tape, but we're gonna also use Velcro. So make sure you take this cap off and it goes in like that. So, I'll see you guys once I'm done fiddling ar around with that. Bright lights and good near days And I can't stop but think about the way that you move around Up and down on that stage as you Alright, so I managed, um, my, my friend helped, my friend manage <laughs> I managed to fit, fit these, no, these wires fish through the wires under the FC. Under the C. Okay, yeah. And so um he fished it through these the fly controller so it can fit in like that. So it does not look bad. It's cleaner than if we were gonna do it anyway. And But that's okay. Now we are going to put on these standoffs. All right, so I finished my build, and I put this these mounting screws on, and not these coarse standoffs. And then I also attached my um, video transmitter in, like in here. So I put one um, one zip tie here, and then one zip tie here. So there's two zip ties. So two zip ties. I used this mount or this hole to put a zip tie there and then I just put some CA on this mount for extra durability so now it's nice and locked in there and then the reason why I did that is because there's a lot of durability in here oh uh, yeah and then I also put um, a zip tie here so then I can easily access my video transmitter hit the buttons to change the channels and I feed this one through my, these wires through. Oh yeah, and the reason why I had the antenna sticking out like this is because when you're going forward, like when you're racing, like that, 
the antenna is sticking up so when your video goggles are also sticking up you have clean footage instead of like this it's not that much a big difference but so it's just a small difference and then I have to have these things so you don't you can only use one but I just use two for better durability so yeah this is a, just a quick video on the FPV system make sure you subscribe because I will be having a video uh, another video showing you how to where to put the battery as well as how to mount these antennas so I'll see you guys in the next video peace out